and a return to splendour. After centuries of neglect, a rare piece of Welsh heritage is restored to its former glory. Now, it's a piece of pure and very rare Welsh heritage, but an old wooden chandelier which lit up a church in mid-Wales for more than 200 years has had to be restored after being worn away over the centuries. The antique, which was gradually crumbling away, has been returned to its former glory by a team of archaeology students at Cardiff University. And our mid-Wales reporter Rob Shelley went along to see it being put in pride of place. It's two miles down a single track road, hidden in its own valley. Even by Midwell standard, St Melangus Church is as remote as it gets. But once you step inside, you don't need to be an archaeologist or an antiquarian to know it's old. About 800 years old, with one almost new addition. I mean, this place is a time capsule already, but... Wow, so that's it! That's it, a Georgian chandelier. It's fantastic, and of course you imagine chandeliers that could be made out of glass rather than wood. Well, this was made by a local carpenter, we assume, in 1733. This chandelier was built 150 years before Edison invented the electric light bulb, and it proved very useful over the centuries, because the village of Penamalanga didn't actually get electric light until 1989. It's, I suppose, a piece of folk art, but there must have been dozens of these in the past made by local carpenters for their own church. This one just happens to have survived. It's already had quite a life. Hidden in the loft, then discovered by a historian in the 1890s, it was put back and used for a hundred years or so. But three years ago, they decided this precious and delicate piece of ash needed some urgent conservation. And that's where Cardiff University comes in. It was painted white. It was in a bad state of repair. One of the arms had broken. And they had the professional conservator look at it. And he determined that it was going to cost around 20,000 pounds to have this thing fixed. And he suggested that the students take it on as a student project. And we basically did it at cost. This was a real labor of love. It took them 400 hours work. But as they stripped the layers of paint away, they stripped back the past too. Now you see virtually the same thing you would have seen when it was crafted in 1733. The church didn't have any electricity, of course, for a long, long time, and so they were dependent on lamps and candles and so on. So you can still see the stubs of the old candles in the holes, but we are terrified to light candles in it now because we don't want to spoil all the good work that's been done on it. <laughs> so it'll probably never be used as a chandelier again, but at least it's back home and good for another couple of hundred years. Rob Shelley, Wales Tonight, in Penat Malanga. <laughs> amazing little church and amazing little tale. Yeah, you can always rely on Rob to find those extraordinary oh, tales, yes, can't you? Yeah. Yes.